Hi, this is Pavel with a C-Sharp exercise. This is actually a project uh, in which we will be creating uh, a poker game. Granted, it's going to be a simplified version of poker game, but we will have you know, five cards for two players uh, and we will evaluate uh, the hand of each player and determine the winner. We will, of course, uh, shuffle the cards before that. We will also um, uh, deal the cards so it's gonna be simplified but it, it will have some decent functionality to you know for to practice uh, uh, some C sharp coding all right so what we what we're supposed to do is um, like I said have a poker game deal two five card hands and determine the winner and uh, we will have 52 playing cards uh, we will shuffle the deck like I said we will deal between the player and the computer and this is a windows c sharp console program not a, not a win forms but they still want us to have a a certain uh, uh kind of like a graphics for the cards some kind of a design not just to type it but actually have a little bit of like an outline for the card and maybe uh you know a symbol of hearts or or, or space and, and of course the number on each card so uh, they want us to use some arrays uh, they want minimum of three arrays I'm sure we will we will have at least that many if not we will probably have more than that and uh, like I said we, we should display each hand graphically there's an, uh, there's an example I guess whatever whoever this exercise was for had an access to this I, I don't but it doesn't matter we'll we'll make some graphics for the cards now we will uh, shuffle the uh, deck randomly of course and we will uh, uh, deal the cards and evaluate uh, they want us to evaluate for uh, four of a kind full house flush straight three of a kind pairs two pairs and a pair uh, we may go even a little further than that we may actually evaluate like if let's say the computer and the player have uh, the same hand like let's say a pair the player with the highest card would win so we can actually implement that as well we should have uh, some read-only properties uh, uh, I'm sure we'll have that too and uh, now that's just some mission for the for the class all right so th yeah this is the the basics uh, so well, I guess let's start coding now the first thing we need uh, obviously is a class of card so I'm gonna create a class I'll call it card and um, this class uh, will simply have the suit for the card and the value the suit being hearts spades diamonds or clubs and value for the card will be Two, three, four, all the way to ten, and then jack, queen, king, and ace. So um, well, the best way to do it probably would be enumerations. So let's do that. Public enum. Let's do the suit first. I'll just capitalize it since it's enum, and uh, let's do hearts. Let's do spades, diamonds and clubs and we will do the value there's an enum as well so that's, that's the card value and it's gonna be two but instead of uh, starting from uh, like we will we will basically start from two we will start counting from two to make it easier you know if the value of the card is two we can as well assign the actual value to two for the for the evaluation purposes so it's gonna be three four five six seven and eight nine ten and finally we have jack and queen king and ace so that's the enum for our volume and we can do uh, some properties 
uh, to retrieve the uh, data or the or, or the values uh, from this enumeration. So we will do public suit. Uh, that will be the return value. I'll just call it my suit, and it will be get and set. And the same will be for the value. We will return the value of my value and get and set. And that's it. This is all for the card. And we don't really need anything else. As far as cards are concerned, you know, we have the values, we have the uh, the suit, and we have a way to retrieve them through our properties. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna close this video and in the next video I will start creating uh, other classes just to keep it kind of organized. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.